Hey guys, back here with Tua for another one. Just letting him outside to go to the bathroom here and figured I'd make a quick video. Wanted to work on some sits and stays and some comes. And uh, kind of a common thing that I heard when I was researching bull mastiffs was they're very difficult to train. And maybe in some aspects that's true, but I've had no problems training Tua at all. Um, he caught on to everything very quick, whether that was basic obedience commands or potty training. Um, my previous dog was a Doberman Pinscher, who are known as being super, super intelligent. And I'd say he was just as easy to train him in most aspects, especially with potty training. So I'm not sure where that stereotype comes from. Maybe I got lucky with Tua. Uh, but I haven't had any difficult training him at all. So in my experience, bull mastiffs being difficult to train has not been an issue for me. Um, and that's part of the reason why I made this channel, you know, so I can document my first-hand experience with the breed and help people who are researching as well. Uh, so I'll go ahead and work on some of these sits and stays and some come commands. And keep in mind, too, that, you know, it's it's been a while since I've worked on these formally with him. Uh, I did a lot, you know, when he was younger, and now I don't do it too much. So he might not do as well as he normally would, but... Uh, He'll, he'll do pretty good. I'm pretty confident in that. So keep that in mind, too, as, as you're watching this. Um, that this can definitely be fine-tuned quite a bit more. And this is not as good as he can do. So keep that in mind. Um, and you'll see how good he does do. Tua, can you sit? No, I need you to sit. Good boy. Tua, stay. And I'll just kind of walk to the back of the yard here. To a come. And he comes. Very good boy. And I actually have some kibble in my pocket that I'm going to go ahead and give to him. Good dog. Generally, I don't give him a treat a whole lot when I'm doing this anymore. That's more of a when he's younger and still training him. Here's our other little dog, Roxy. As they get older, you definitely don't need to use those treats as a reward system as much, but you still want to mix them in. I'll do another sit stay here to a sit. Good. To a stay. Let's see if I can make them wait a little bit longer here. Walk around some. And he might move. Like I said, we haven't been working on these for consistently long, so there's a little movement from him, and that's fine. As long as he stays on his spot. I still haven't given him a release yet, so he's still staying. He's doing really good. I'm going to back up some more here. I think we'll go ahead and call him over. To a come. You can see how he always sits right in front of me too. That's exactly what I want. What a good boy. Good dog. And very early in this channel, I did make videos on how I teach this. So definitely check those out. Uh, I'll probably make some more videos here in the future too, showing how I teach it as well. It's pretty simple. It's more about consistency than anything. I've done this with all my dogs, and they all catch on pretty quick. <sighs> let's see if we can get him to do another. Let's finish this with a minute long stay, see if he can do it. See if we can get him to fail, actually. And I'll do some walking around. Tua, can you sit? Good dog. And let's go for a minute. Tua, stay. I guess that kibble went down his throat a little funny. He's coughing right now. See if he can stay for a minute. If he doesn't, I'm not going to worry about it too much. I just am kind of pushing the envelope here. Oh, and he moved. Okay, let's try another one. To a stay. And that's fine. Like I said, I haven't, I haven't worked on stuff with him for a while. 
so I'm not expecting them to be perfect. I mean, I work on a little bit, you know, every day, but not in a formal setting where I'm asking him to do a lot and be correct. Just more like basic things around the house. If I wanted to stay for a second while I'm doing something, something like that. But now it's kind of, you know, training him and pushing him. So there's some people talking over there. So he's very interested in that, which is, ah, and he moved. Okay. There's a lot of commotion going on back there. I don't know if you guys can hear it. So it's, it's bothering him. So he's getting kind of worked up. Ah. And I actually did make a video a while back of him doing a sit and stay for 20 minutes. So that kind of shows you what these dogs are capable with or capable of when they are being worked with on a more consistent basis. Uh, pretty cool if you want to check that one out. A lot of distractions going on around that one too and he did a great job. So as you can see with a little bit of work these dogs can definitely respond well to training and like I said he's not been formally trained here very much lately and he still does relatively good all things considered. I could definitely get him more fine-tuned and maybe I will here in the future as I have more time to go ahead and get him trained but definitely in my experience Bull Mastiff pretty easy dog to train maybe not con compared to other breeds that are well known for their ability to train but pretty easy thanks for watching